Welcome back everyone. Today I want to show you how to do a very simple, easy, and quick do-it-yourself kayak fishing light. And I'd say about, what was it, nine years ago whenever I started fishing, uh, these things were out of reach for me. They're the Visicarbon Pro uh, kayak fishing light. They retail anywhere from about, I want to say, 80 to 90 dollars. So before there was this, there was this right here. It's a half inch PVC pipe. You can pick that up at Lowe's, Home Depot, any hardware store should have them. Also, ping pong balls, Walmart, any grocery store, just look for the red solo cups in the beer section and those are probably gonna be there. A mag light, the solitaire, it's one AAA battery. And then you've also got a rubber band and you're gonna need a quarter inch or smaller drill bit, your drill to drill with. Yeah, so in Texas, the reason why I wanted to fish at night is because in the summertime, the heat is just insane. And in order to beat that heat, you would have to go fishing at night. So in order to be legal at nighttime in Texas, you'd have to have a 360 degree night light. So this was the most effective and cheapest way that I could get out there on the water and beat the heat without having to use one of these. First, what you need to do is drill two holes at the end of your PVC. one right there and then just get another one right next to it it doesn't really matter there's really no need to have precise holes just as long as they're right next to each as long as they're right next to each other okay then you're gonna put two holes into your ping pong ball again no rhyme or reason just two holes right next to each other There's one, two. What you want to do is take your PVC pipe with the two holes right there and you're going to fish through this rubber band. Now in order to do that, you're going to take a paper clip or anything that you have that's you know bendable, uh, just the way I did right here. I've got a piece of safety wire and that's very bendable and it allows me to fish this thing through so we've got the rubber band right there we'll push it back through right here on the top hole just like that we'll fish it out okay so here goes both ends right there now this end is going to go through right here and then we're going to tighten it down all right now all you're going to do is just tighten it down just like that there you have it now that rubber band is in place on your pvc pipe with the other end you're going to fish it through on your ping pong ball so you can push the rubber band through one hole and then you can kind of see that the other end inside the ping pong ball you take your safety wire or bobby pin whatever it is that you want to use to fish it through hook it and then bring it back out just like that so that's basically it right there and then with this you just tie it around this piece of rubber band just like that you can put it in a knot you can do whatever it is that you're going to need to do to secure it put some tape around it it doesn't matter but the concept is you take your maglite mini or the solitaire that's you can take that off but I'm just gonna clip it just for the sake of time here we go let's get this off All right. I have to find that other piece later but anyhow you take your solitaire mag light alright now you just turn it on just like that and when you go fishing you'll stick the mag light inside here now the mag lights gonna fall all the way through so you need to put something in there styrofoam paper plastic whatever it is that you've got just to kind of hold it in place and for the sake of the video I'm just gonna use a napkin so there you go you stuff the napkin down in there just enough to where the mag lights gonna be right there and this is the basic concept right there just like that now if it were dark in here you would be able to see how light or how bright this lights up and it is really really good 
Let's go to the closet where it's completely dark and I'll show you exactly how bright this thing is. Okay, let's turn the light off and you can get an idea of what this thing looks like in action. So there we are. I mean, this thing is plenty bright whenever you're out there on the water and there's really no lights around. I mean, it's just as bright as that VisiCarbon Pro and all it cost was less than about $5. So works really well. Looks pretty good too. It's a fairly inexpensive, quick to do project. Only took about five minutes. It's light years cheaper than the alternative. And best of all, it's gonna keep you safe on the waters and legal in most states. All you would need to do is place some pull noodle or some styrofoam on this end, zip tie it, and then you can put that in your flush mount rod holder or inside your milk crate, however it is that you wanna do your setup. But it's gonna keep you safe out there on the water and until you save enough money to go ahead and get the alternative lights, then this is gonna work. It's just as bright. Uh, also, another plus to this is that it requires one AAA battery, and most packages have four, so you can put those inside your tackle box, and you're gonna be good to go. So I wanna thank you all for watching. If you like this video and find it helpful, please give me the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, Please subscribe, it helps me out, and I really appreciate the support. So until next time, tight lines. You plug it to the back of your dog like that, and they can be seen for miles and miles around. Like it? <laughs>